Hello everybody, this is Nick speaking. Welcome back to another episode of Polycraft. And the last episode, as you probably know, we did the little scavenger hunt thing, and there has been a little bit of a live stream in the past, um, in the past week between the last episode and this one, so this is one of my works that you see me standing on here. I kind of did a little bit of cleanup around here on the live stream and making the town portal look like it kind of fits in a little bit better with the town, so Kianis did this wall over here, which had a whole bunch of different terracotta um, textures on it, which I actually really think looks cool, so I kind of decided to um, kind of bring that design over here a little bit, you know, frame up the portal here, make it l actually feel like, hey, this is like a major thing in the town, even though, you know, it's kind of dwarfed by the giant tree, but yeah, giant tree. Lovely giant tree, but also I did like the terracotta over here and I did purple because obviously the portal's purple. So just to kind of give this an area a little bit of extra definition, make it feel like this wall doesn't stand out too much in the town and it also gives, it also kind of frames in this area pretty nicely down here where we have the town hall and then the courthouse back there the Mackey Cafe, with some food signs, coffee, coffee, coffee. Yep, so anyways, in this episode, we are going to be doing things called making fireworks because we are getting the supplies to make fireworks because we are out of fireworks. This is tragic, and it is a remedy that needs to be resolved because I must always have fireworks. So, well, yeah, I gathered lots of random stuff during the stream, so I'm here to drop it off, and then we'll see you back in the base. Okay, so we are back in the base, and there may be one um, little thing that needed to be corrected, and you probably hear it right now. Or that's one of the two things. Um, it has to do with our um, sorting system. We kind of have a little bit of a well, a conundrum with it in that we have this thing called the Eternal Ticking Time Machine thing. Or just, I'm giving it a weird name because I can. It's just called Item Elevator. Annoying. And if you guys may or may not remember back um, in the update, they did the thing where the glass elevators now work again, so yeah, somebody needs, like myself, needs to go and switch that back over to a actual elevator so I don't hear the ticking eternally. Um, so we kind of need to get that fixed back up, and I don't have to hear ticking again. Because, trust me, the ticking drives me nuts, and I can't stand it anymore. So, yeah. What better way to fi to get rid of the ticking noise than to, you know, switch back over to one of those elevators. Um, so, basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to fix a few small aspects of this. I needed to kind of have a temporary disable of the... Um, item streams coming into here to fix the first one, which is why the eternal ticking is happening right now, because one of the things that's going on is, well, and this is me trying to fix it, is that I wanted to divert the water over by one, because that seems to be an easy way to fix this problem. So, basically, the idea is before the items were just coming in, going straight through, and then shooting right past these. So now with this new configuration, they're bumping right into here and not going to just see. Okay, this is not going to work the way I thought it would. Okay, so sign, you need a break. We'll place a new sign here. So this can... This gets to jog around the corner here. 
probably place a sign here and then a little extra water stream here. So let me place you back. We'll need buckets. Okay, so this part, the idea here is when items come in now, which we are going to need to turn this back on temporarily so we can let items through. So there you go, turn it back on. And now it's going to play the that sound for a little bit here. Just have fun listening to that sound. So now stuff should be coming in here. It slows down when it rounds this corner. So right now everything's going to the first. Is it only releasing? Yes, it is. Now a few fish are coming in. Although, ooh. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Okay. That's not good. Um. Right. Um. Quick. Need dirt to get up into here. Sign needs to move back one more. Okay. So, water. Grab you. Um. Okay. Axe. We need. Okay. Grab the sign back up. Okay. And then you go here. And you go here. And you have the letter D on you. Okay, there we go. So that should fix that problem. I'm going to throw this stuff back in here because it didn't have a chance to sort in. And then we can replace these. So now the idea is here that everything's moving through here a lot slower. So very few items should be going past once the system normalizes out. So yeah, that's kind of the th next thing we need to do. So let me grab some fish. Let me get a destroying thing and destroying thing. Where do we destroy you? Um, how do we destroy you? Well, I think lava is the answer to how we destroy it. And I should have some lava over here. Yes, I do. And I apparently have hot stuff. Yep, hot stuff. Lava, yep. So basically, I think what I'll ha just do is take the edge here. Take out this, and then we'll dig a pit straight down, basically. So, okay, I, why do I hear a, is there a cave down here? There's probably Hey, lava. Okay. I don't need the bucket. <clears throat> well, I don't need the bucket. And... Basically, what all that's going to happen now is... We get to... Destroy the water sources in the back here. So, and then... If any items do overflow, they fall into lava and get destroyed. And then we just need to, you know, fix this site over here and we're all good to go again. So yeah, that was a simple fix of the item dis dispensing um problems we were having here. Also, oh, you already filled back up. Okay. There you go. Throw the extra fish. And 
I'm just curious, is this over here somewhere where I'm hearing those skeletons? No. Because this goes this... Okay, there's an unlit cave around here now that I know of. Um, that's kind of um, interesting. Okay, so there is an unlit cave off that direction. Yeah, you're still annoying. Okay. And it's not connected to the ravine. Uh, okay, so looks like we're going digging for a thing. I will be back when I find it. Yep, cave. Hi, cave. You're a cave. Oh, okay, lighting glitch. There you go. Okay, small cave. Bat is a dead. Okay. Cave lit. Going home. Alright, so as you can tell, up here we are pretty nice and quiet now. Now, if I follow this along, I can just come on over here. And as you can tell, you... Well, you can kind of hear it a little bit when you get close to this, just because... Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that part of it, that this makes noise down there constantly. Um, so I didn't actually get rid of the noise, I just moved the source of it. Um, yeah. And I don't even think this is keeping up. So... I don't know if that... That... See, that concerns me. That this isn't keeping up with... Actually, it might be. You just wouldn't need the second string of hoppers here. Because this draining... Yeah, this is the one that's draining. Okay. No, well, trying to drain anyways. So apparently the chest takes this one as preferential. So I might just drain like this out of here. Drain like a whole bunch of stuff out of the system here. Just so that way we can test to make sure it's actually doing what it's supposed to be. There. Take a whole bunch of stuff out of it and we'll just bring it on up here and put it into the chests that they're supposed to go in, just so we can circumvent that little problem for at least just a little bit here. And I'm also thinking I might swap out, like, some of this stuff, like this and this, just because these make more blocks than those do. Um, so that might be one of the few things that I change with the whole system here. Um, okay, you come out. You're back up in here. Okay, so yeah, let's you. Okay, so it only starts working once this fills up so far. Okay. So that means there's always going to be a few items in here. Um, so how can I fix that problem? Actually, can I just turn this into a block here? Oh, and that also speeds it up. At least it 
rested for a little bit there. So how many items does this need before it starts going? Apparently quite a few. That doesn't make any difference, does it? Nope. No, it doesn't. Okay, great. Um... So, we'll have to figure that out somehow. Um... Well, in the meantime, you can work, I guess. Yeah, that'll work for at least a little bit, um, until I can solve that problem, but, yeah, so, at least it's working better than it was before, which is always good, and it's not going to overflow to the point that we have items that are just kind of chilling up here, so, that's good, we have overflow protection. Kind of. Okay, and I'm going to set my spawn here because apparently it's not set here. So, yeah. I think we'll be finding the spot for the fireworks factory and I'll be back in just a second. Alright, so we are back. It is the next day now and, well, as you probably have told from the episode title and the beginning of this episode. Um, this episode is going to be all about making fireworks and why are you swimming around there? Well, anyways, yeah, just I wanted to observe guardians for a second. They're cool. Okay. So yeah, the main goal of this episode is to build the fireworks factory. So basically, I want an area that I can go to to make tons of firework rockets for my light truck, because, yes, firework rockets are very important, especially when you have an elytra. So, yeah, so, the what I was thinking of doing here is because we do have the whole guardian farm thing over there, I don't really want to be close to that at all, um, mainly so that way I can keep spawn keep that from spawning while the firework factory is spawning, which makes for a very interesting dilemma because it basically means that I can't have it here in the area of the temple itself, and basically I just need to find a good spot for at least the... Um, creeper part of it, because, you know, creepers are a necessary part of making any firework factory. So, my thought was, we're going off this direction, and if you may remember when I was building the storage room, I ended up finding this giant cave, which goes, like, way off in this direction. So, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is set up the creeper farm like way over here just so that way I am not in range of the water temple or at least not very much in range of the water temple so we can get it easily tucked in and ready to go without needing too much of a um, perk too much of that soul issue thing the only thing about it, though, is the beacon is probably going to need to move while I build it, just because I kind of want to make sure I have the whole haste thing going, because, yeah, digging without haste is kind of annoying, so I think I'm going to move the beacon, get, the, get a time-lapse going here for everything, and... Yeah, so I will see you back on the other side this time lapse.
All right, so we are back, and I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse. Um, as you can tell from what I'm doing now, this area requires a lot of trapdoors. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do here is get the whole configuration thing going for the creeper. And basically, there is a little trick in the game whereby which if you place trap doors everywhere, a creeper is short enough that it can spawn under the trap doors, but other mobs, mainly zombies and skeletons, are not able to. So that's kind of what this is supposed to be. So basically, I've got a lot of trap door placement ahead of me here, so... Yeah, I mean, that's already a stack of trap doors. I mean, yeah, these are going to not last very long at all. The only thing that's good about this is I can do it kind of speedily, so kind of the same way I did the actual cobblestone. Um, so, yeah, basically, this will make it so that we can have all of the creepers that we need to get the gunpowder for the fireworks factory. So this is step one of two. Step two of two will obviously be the sugar king part of the fireworks factory, because, you know, there are two things that make fireworks, sugar cane and gunpowder. So got one of them down. Now it's just up to us to get the other one. So yeah, basically the Next little bit here will be me looking for every little spot and putting trap doors like this on top of every single little thing. And then, basically, this is our activation, so we're going to probably have to have a wire that comes from our actual factory part, which will be down there, so I don't have to bring the items up, so... That means the redstone is going to have to come up and over into this. That'll be interesting. So, so yeah, basically then this activates, gets the thing here, the, um, whatchamacallit, I cannot think of their name right now, uh, the, um, observer. So you, ac activates on the observer, then the observer sees, hey, there is a um, person who's putting this trapdoor in the wrong spot. Well, no, it doesn't tell you if a trapdoor is in the wrong spot, but that's just me putting a trapdoor in the wrong spot. So basically, the observer lets you know that the water has dispensed here. Now, these dispensers are facing downward into the observer, uh, which is the planned direction for them. And then it basically cascades down the entire thing. Um, yeah, it's complicated. and I did do this right, didn't I? Well, yeah, you can't. Yes, because it wouldn't make much sense for these to be up one, because then the... Yep, yeah, okay, that is correct. I just need to make sure f before I'm like, this is how you do it. Uh, yes, it is definitely how you do it. And now it's just the fun of placing trapdoors like this for who knows how long so we can get the creeper section going. I think I'm going to save the sugarcane section for another episode, though, just because we are already starting to run out of time here on this one, and I would like to get it out at the scheduled time. So, yeah. We will come back. We'll get the creeper farm here finished up. Now, there is a side effect of this farm. It does also produce string, so... We will also have a spider farm here, which, yeah, that's whatever. It's not really that big of a deal, so. But yeah, we definitely need the creepers for the gunpowder, which is the most important part of this. 
and then we are ready to go and get this farm up and running. So yeah, I will spend who knows how long placing in all these trapdoors, and I'll probably be back for the end of the episode after that. See you in just a second. Alright, so we are back, and as you can probably tell, we're still not finished with the farm quite yet, so the only thing about this is we are already out of time for this episode, so, and not only that, we are um, only a few hours before release, so, yeah, I'm kind of having to, you know, get this done and rendered and ready to go, because video releases in only a few hours, so yeah. So anyways, this is going to do it for this episode. If you did like it, please make sure to hit the like button down below, and if you want to see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button, but that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!